my name is Laura LaCamera. I'm going to read my book, Floating on Mama's Song, Flotando en la Canción de Mama, and it's illustrated by Yuni Morales. Mama loves to sing. Her singing was always a happy day, a happy part of everyday life. But everything changed on the day after my seventh birthday. When I got home from school that day, the delicious smell of fried plantains and black beans hung in the air. Mama was singing a song from her favorite opera, Carmen. When I ran into the kitchen, I froze. Mama was in the air floating. Outside our dog, Tita, was floating above the ground too. Mama stopped singing and landed with a thump. Boom, Tito fell. Mama, you and Tito were flying, I squealed. It's been happening all day, Anita, every time I sing. Singing makes me so happy. I guess Tito likes it too. We laughed and she hugged me. I wondered if Grandma knew about the amazing thing that happens when Mama sings, or Orlando, my little brother. The next day, when Grandma came over for lunch, Mama was singing. Suddenly, I was halfway to the ceiling, feeling a giggle in my belly as Mama's voice rose like a golden staircase. Mama held Orlando's hand as their feet swayed above the floor. Isabel yelled Grandma, what's going on? Every time I sing, whoever hears my singing floats, Mama explained. This is not right, Isabel. You must stop singing, she declared. You and the children could get hurt. And what will the neighbors say? Two days later, three nosy neighbors came knocking at the door. I couldn't find my pig this morning, and then I saw him floating in front of your kitchen window, shouted Mrs. Jimenez. My goat too, said Mrs. Hernandez. I saw her flying in your yard. I heard my cow mooing from next door, and there she was, up in the air. Grandma turned to Mama, Isabel. You must promise never to sing again. I don't want to hurt anyone, Mama said. I promise. And that was that. But with each day that passed, Mama grew sadder and sadder. Orlando and I tried to cheer her up, but nothing seemed to work. Then the neighbors that had complained came back to visit. My cow isn't giving milk. Mi vaca no está dando leche. My pig isn't eating. Mi cochino no está comiendo. My cow isn't sleeping. Mi chivo no está durmiendo. I'm sorry about your animals, Mama said, but I promised I wouldn't sing. And the three ladies went home. Everyone was miserable. Mama wouldn't laugh or even smile anymore. Can you help her? I asked the healer that lived down the street. I will throw these coconut shells and see what they tell us. She peered at the way the shells had fallen. There's nothing I can do, she said. Your mama's spirit is sick. There must be a way to make mama smile again, I thought. Just then something caught my eye. What's in that pretty box, grandma? Old family photos, she said. Maybe you can find a picture of your mama when she was a little girl. I opened the dusty box. It smelled sweet like sugar cane. Closing my eyes, I pulled out a photograph. It's perfect. I thanked Grandma as I ran out the door. Mama, I shouted, I have a surprise for you. I handed her the photo. Mama's eyes opened wide. I remember when this photo was taken. Music was in the air, the mangoes were ripe. You know, Anita, when I was little like you, your grandma used to sing too. I can almost hear her now. I miss those happy times. I turned and saw Grandma. Look at this picture, I said. What happened that day? How could I forget, Grandma said. The cow got stuck high up in the mango tree. I was afraid the neighbors would find out it was my fault. I never sang again. <clears throat> my heart is a bitter grapefruit. Mama, Grandma turned to Mama. All the women in our family sing, and each is granted the gift of floating when her firstborn daughter turns seven. I don't want you and Anita to be like me. I was foolish, Grandma said. <clears throat> I wanted Grandma to be happy again. I began to sing. My silly tune made Grandma smile. 
Grandma started humming, and then in a rusty voice, she started to sing. Her voice became sweeter as we both rose off the ground. Mama laughed and laughed. Her voice tumbled out like a waterfall until it became the most beautiful song. And with that, Mama sang a high note and rose up until she and Grandma touched the top of the mango tree. They laughed out loud. Now Mama sings every day and our family is happiest when Mama sings and we all float on Mama's song.